Hey everyone, this is Truveen and in this session we will be talking about how we can get started with Power Apps PowerShell. Yes, you have heard correctly. Now we can automate some of the manual processes using PowerShell in Power Apps or Power Automate. During this session, I am going to talk about how you can install your Power Apps PowerShell for admin module. In Power Apps, with the help of PowerShell, either you can perform some administrator task as an administrator or you can perform some of the automation using app maker now let's talk about both the thing in detail but in this session we will be focusing only about the admin module we will be talking about how you can install the power apps powershell for your admin module so now let's get started So here I am on my machine and here I am searching for Windows PowerShell. And now I am just running my Windows PowerShell as administrator. This has opened this kind of PowerShell window for me. Now the very first step that we need to perform here is we wanted to find out the PowerShell version. For that we need to use a command PowerShell version table dot ps version. So this is giving me an output like my PowerShell version is 5.1. If your PowerShell version is above 5.0, only at that time you can install this PowerShell module for Power Apps. Now, after you perform this step, you need to run more one more command. You need to check the execution policy for your PowerShell. So, just hit enter and check what is the execution policy for the PowerShell. When I run the command get execution policy, I am getting the execution policy as remote signed. Now make sure if you are not getting the remote signed value over here, you need to run this command that I am printing at this moment. So let's say for an example, if you are getting your execution policy as restricted, then you need to type this command as set execution policy, execution policy as remote signed. Now it is asking to change this policy for all so just print a over here so make sure that your execution policy is set as remote signed if it is restricted it will give you some error while you try to connect your windows powershell with power apps once you run the about to command you need to install the module for power apps administration for that we need to use a command install module name microsoft.powerapps.administration.powershell and just hit enter. Now it is asking to trust the repository. So let's trust the repository and press A. So it has started to install the package. Once you run this command, you need to run one more command that is install module microsoft.powerapps.powershell allow clobber and just hit enter over here as well trust this repository and press a and that will install powerapps administration module in powershell the PowerShell module has been installed successfully. Now let's connect our PowerApps account. For that, we need to use a command add PowerApps account and press enter. So that will prompt you this screen. Now make sure that if you are getting any error at this point, meaning that you haven't set the execution policy as remote signed. If your execution policy is restricted mode, then you will get error at this stage. So make sure about that thing. Now just log in with your Office 365 account. Sign in has done successfully. Now you can run any command that is supported by Power Apps PowerShell for admin module. In my next sessions, I am going to talk more about those commands in detail. Meantime, if you have any request that I want to cover for Power Apps PowerShell, add your suggestion or valuable comment in the comment section. Hope this video helps you and value your time. If you are for the first time to my channel, make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel. 
if you are looking for any consultancy here is the website fill up your form and add your queries to me if you wanted to follow me on all my social media handles here is the url click on that url it will be redirecting you to this page from here you can follow me on all my social media handles like youtube website instagram linkedin blogs twitter facebook and github if you wanted to follow me and learn different concept on instagram here is the instagram account click on that it will redirecting you to my instagram home page the insta id is power platform guy here i am uploading new video related power apps power bi power automate and power virtual agents in form of post reels igtv and so many other stuff so make sure that you follow me on my instagram account as well also if you are looking for any power platform podcast here is the podcast channel click on that it will be redirecting you to my podcast home page from here you can listen your favorite power platform podcast on your favorite podcast platform like google podcast apple podcast spotify and much more also if you are interested for different short video related power platform here is a separate channel called digital thruvin click on that it will redirecting you to this page subscribe that channel and show your love over there as well this is thruvin signing off see you in the next session have a great day goodbye